Tommy, another trip this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Um, yeah, a different puzzle. You know, we went to Yeovil last weekend and came on with a point, I thought, on reflection from the game. Um, whereas both teams had lots of chances, I thought ours were really, really good chances. And I'm at a, I'm at a loss just to know why we didn't score more than the one goal. Um, everybody will say because we didn't finish the ball, which is fair enough. But I was really buoyed by that because, you know, we've been, we've been questioned lately because we haven't scored a lot of goals in the league. But, you know, go remember, we went over to... The Isle of Wight with a, with a strong side and against a, a lower level team, obviously, but um, and stuck six past them. So, you know, I don't lose sight of the group's intention. Uh, we all want to win games. Um, and I'm sure the people who will follow us up uh, to the final course will want to win us again on Saturday. So that's, that, that's, that'll be the aim, ultimately. In terms of those, those goals or, or, or missing ones, um, do you think it's maybe a confidence thing for the attackers, or or is it just a case of we're not getting the rub of the green with some of those chances? Bit of both. Bit of both. When you know strikers by by nature will judge themselves and and supporters rightly so will judge strikers on many goals they score. But as the manager and his staff, we look at all you know every single input that every single player does. It's not just them. You know, without picking him out, but I have to because it's him. But we had two centre halves who should have scored goals mm. on Saturday at Yeovil, both Christian and. And we'll look back at them chances that they had in the first half and think, wow, possibly should have scored the goal. But I'm not going to point the finger at them, lads. I mean, they, you know, they, they played their part in getting us in front and keeping us in front for as long as we did. And then seeing out the points. So, look, like I said, we look at the bigger picture and it's an easy thing for me to say, but the next game's in front of us and we'll try, to, try and bring a positive result home. In terms of training this week, how's that been? I mean, it sounded like there was a good atmosphere out there today. I think the lads have been really, really buoyant this morning. Um, we give them an extra day at the beginning of the week to refresh. We had it. We had a tough week the week before in terms of Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So um, yeah, look, we got one or two back. I think Tyler's looking back near enough to full speed. Jack's back on the training ground, and it was great to see Manny Madger playing a, a little bit more of a part uh, here this morning. So whilst he's probably not ready for the match day squad, he's, he is not a million miles away. Touchwood. So yeah, the numbers are swelling. We've still got a few in there with Liam, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, I'm pleased with the output of the group. I can't ask them to give me any more than they're giving me. They want to win the games the same as I do at the beginning. Um, and like I said, that'll be the aim come the weekend. You briefly mentioned Dan earlier. He's, he's had a good little start to life at Aldershot, hasn't mm. he? He put a good performance in on Saturday. Well, look, we looked at, we looked at numerous um, defenders in step two last season. And Dan was very prominent in our thoughts, to be honest with you. But... The fact that he signed for a League One side probably is a pat on the back to our recruitment and how we tried to bring things in. And we ended up going with Luke and Lackey, both of which I'm really confident when they're fit and well to play. Um, but obviously Luke's struggling to get to get himself back on the pitch. So whether Dan's here for a month or longer, if he plays like he did at Yeovil, I'm sure the, the 400 nod who came to watch us down there will say he made a really solid, and I mean that, solid debut. So for a lad as young as he is, um, I think he's way ahead of his years. But, it, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the first game he's played at this level and so I'm not going to get carried away. Um, and obviously we've got Roland fighting to get back in the, the start in 11. So yeah, I'm really happy with the group, like I said. Um, I've, I've been really pleased with what I've seen this morning. We've looked at a couple of two, couple of two or three tweaks to, you know, the starting, starting group. But knowing that I've got what I will have, if they don't start coming from the bench, that you're always as strong as what you've got to bring from the bench. And I think that's getting stronger. Filed or another of the sides so far that season that have decided to chop their manager quite early on. So does that make it a little bit trickier? Because I guess you know you got used to how they played last year, and, and you go into this game maybe thinking of that. And now now you've got to look at them again fr yeah. fresh. Well, it's none of my business in terms of that, that's I, that's part of the game. But it was a surprise to me. I'll be honest. I thought Chris did a fantastic job at the end of last season, turning him into a really, really good side. They were young, vigorous, you know, full of energy. Um, and I'm sure given time, he would have had them flying again this season. But, you know, the decisions are in the hands of the people who make them. And um, as we speak, I don't believe they've named a new, new guy. So, the, the, so Nathan will be in, in charge, I assume. But whoever's in charge, it's, you know, it's irrelevant to me. It's the 11 men against us on the pitch and the lads on the bench. So... We've just got to impart our will on them more than they can on us. And um, yeah, I'm confident with the mood of the group, the mood of the staff. And we look forward to, to a, a long, a good, if long trip up there to the final coast at the weekend.